Music really speaks to our emotions directly and it bypasses the need for cognition, for thinking, understanding. For a person with dementia, it's a form of knowing that is often still accessible. The personally significant music has that connection to memory, has that kind of embedded in there. It's a direct line, it's not a kind of like I think about something and then I remember it, it's I feel something and then I remember it. I see my project as moving away from a focus on health and illness towards a focus on human flourishing and the potential of individuals to flourish, whether they're healthy or whether they're poorly or even if they're close to death, there's still this potential for an individual to flourish and find meaning in their life. By funding this research, we know that music has the power to kind of light up eyes and give a smile. And I've been to multiple creative arts sessions where I've seen changes in so many people. This knowledge that we're gathering can be translated into so many different settings, whether that's a care setting, a day centre, or people caring for loved ones themselves. One of the benefits of being a part of the Alzheimer's Society Doctoral Training Centre is that we have the benefits of working across two universities, which means we have a multidisciplinary team. So that means that just on my supervision team, I have a psychiatrist, a social worker and a clinical psychologist. So that really brings an added depth to my work and makes me take different critical perspectives. At the moment, there's eight PhD students, all working on their own individual projects, but all complementing each other quite nicely. So in terms of the future, we're really kind of laying the groundwork for a lot of the work in the arts of dementia.